He had won two U.S. Open titles by 1978 when Jimmy Connors found himself battling his way back against Adriano Panada in the fifth set. so pumped up. Had to do it. It was okay. Adriana Panada and Jimmy Connor. I don't know what happened there. I, I, I thought I may get to the ball, and I didn't know what I was going to do to it once I got there. Some kind of shot. Jesus. I hit that one-handed up the line. It kind of curved from outside in. Jimmy, you really had no choice. I mean, you were so stretched out, you are so late getting to the ball. I mean, it was so wide, you can only go up the right, line right, or lob. Right. I didn't even have time to get my other hand on the racket to hit two hands. Congratulations, and thanks for coming in to be with us. Pleasure. We appreciate it, Jimmy. For Tony Travert, Jimmy Connors, we all say thank you. And we'll be back with more highlights in just a minute. I'm a real wild one. In 1987, John McEnroe and Yvonne Lindell hooked up in another of their classic struggles. point, Lindo, the match, and the title. Speaking of classic struggles, none was better than this one. what made Yannick unique. It's not very hard to do, it's just that you have to think about doing it, you know, and you'd, you have to be careful sometimes, you know, it's a very dangerous shot to try when you're not used to. Don't try. <laughs> Want to see another of Noah's larks? It happened two years later. And somehow you knew it had to be him. For sheer drama, extra effort, and the best celebration, this is our greatest point in U.S. Open history. argument there is there hope you all got that on your vcr that's one to keep for sure don't call us and ask for copies now